You're watching the Clean Commercial Transportation Update. I'm Bill Van Amberg. And I'm Alicia Gildy. The technology to reach 100% zero emissions in urban applications by 2030 is here now. But what will it take to do that, and what will it take for the world to meet its climate needs before it's too late? Each month on CCTU, we're investigating different areas of the industry on our roadmap to zero emissions. Along our roadmap, we're taking a look at scaling up production, key partnerships, smart policies, infrastructure, innovative technologies, and equity for the clean transportation industry. Gianno, great to have you with us. Thanks for joining us. Absolutely. Welcome to, uh, glad to be here. So, can you give us an update now on what we've been calling the MOU, Memorandum of Understanding, but really this new global standard of commitment that nations are organizing with you? Absolutely. There's been uh, an amazing level of progress uh, here. So, there is a, a group of uh, leading nations that are really gearing up for this big announcement at COP26, later this year in Glasgow, really at a critical time when countries really need to raise their level of climate ambition in the face of the reality that uh, you're very well shown uh, today. So this announcement will be centered around this global MOU uh, for zero emission medium and heavy duty vehicles. It's really calling for 100% of sales of new medium and heavy duty vehicles being zero emissions by 2040. Wow, Cristiano, that's incredible and great work. Uh, thank you so much for your leadership in this space. Tell us, why is this global agreement so important? Well, it really recognizes the need for much more ambitious targets, uh, especially for a sector that has been overlooked uh, despite representing a really disproportionate amount of emissions. So it also recognizes that nations really need to work together. Like we need a global goal uh, that will set the same standards worldwide and give industry very clear signals and timelines to be able to, uh, to invest. Um, it also recognizes you know, the levels of technology readiness, model availability, uh, the expectations that we have for cost parity. Um, you know, and, and yet, despite all of these uh, this advancements, we have very few countries that have announced such targets for, uh, for trucks and buses. So, this is really the time. And then COP26 is a major milestone uh, for countries really to strengthen uh, their climate action commitments uh, that they've made uh, back in Paris um, in, in 2015. So this global MOU really recognizes uh, the strong leadership uh, that has already been put forward you know, by leading manufacturers and fleets uh, that you know, have made equivalent commitments and targets, you know, especially within the 2040 timeframe. So this is really about getting government and industry together, aligned around the same ambition, you know, and recognizing that the technology is here, uh, we're ready uh, for deeper penetration if we get the right targets, the right policies, the right regulations and investments in place. I know that there's a lot of uncertainty about what's going on in Scotland and around the world because of COVID, uncertainty about what kind of events can be held, but we're gonna make a big announcement there with nations, no matter what. Can you give us kind of a sketch of what we're gonna do at COP26? Yeah, as you might expect, there's still a lot of uncertainty in terms of the format of COP26 and the degree to which discussions will be in person or, or hybrid. But no matter uh, the format, we're closely coordinated with, uh, with the UK government, with participating countries in Global MOU, with industry executives and other NGOs, really to maximize the, uh, the level of the announcement. Uh, most likely on the second week uh, of COP, and really ensuring that a very strong signal is given uh, to the world that uh, zero emission technologies are here and coming a lot faster than, uh, than we expect. You know, and then finally, we're also bringing all of this engagement uh, like together, um, like in a digital hub that will really connect, you know, the ambition of this announcement with the reality of the technology. So. Very exciting uh, developments uh, coming here. Thank you so much, Cristiano, and that is, I'll be joining you uh, in Europe for COP26, so there's really exciting times, and we'll be rolling out kind of these breakthroughs and these milestones as we get the digital hub up and a variety of other announcements, so that's gonna be so exciting. Well, these are great topics. I'm glad we had a short time to walk through it, but sadly, that's the end for this edition of CCTU Take 5. I'm Bill Van Amberg. And I'm Alicia Gildy. Make sure to register for our CCTU mailing list on our website to keep updated with all of our upcoming Take 5 releases 
and our live CCTU broadcasts. Also, follow us on Twitter to stay connected. We're at CalStart. And, and we'll CCTU, CCTU soon. soon.